Have you ever found an insect in your garden and wondered, is that a friend or foe? Have you ever found a plant in your yard and wondered, could I eat that? Is it perhaps medicinal or is it dangerous to my pets? Well, I found an app for your phone that can help answer many of those questions. So today I'm at the Florida Botanical Gardens because they have many of their plant specimens labeled so we can put the Seek app to the test. The Seek app by iNaturalist is an application that you can download for free to your phone. This utilizes the camera within your phone to identify plants, insects, and animals based on their database. You can then download that information based on what location you choose to share or not and connect that to iNaturalist for more information. This helps iNaturalist to collect different specimens from around the globe and create a larger database. By the way, neither the Seek app nor iNaturalist are sponsoring this video. When trying to get information about a specific specimen, you want to make sure that it has as much information available to help your app out. Now, this particular one is in full bloom. So not only do I have the leaves, the bark, the leaf orientation, but I have blooms, which is really gonna help it identify it correctly. So I'm gonna open the Seek app and then I'm going to hit the camera button at the bottom of my screen. This is going to record the information you can adjust the distance of your phone between the plant so that it's in focus and you'll see little dots at the top as it starts to identify and narrow down to the specific type of plant you're looking at. So originally it's just going to say a generic plant and then as I get it in focus and it gets all the information, it's going to identify it. Go ahead and hit the camera button and it'll upload its species information. You can view the species for more information and you can choose to post to iNaturalist. You can allow it to record your location so that way it's gonna help bring more information to iNaturalist. And you can indicate whether it's captive or cultivated. This is a cultivated species because I'm in a garden. And then I can post to iNaturalist. So it is indicated that this plant is a Panama rose. Let's look at the identification marker. Now the app isn't going to be accurate 100% of the time and that's why I really encourage you to post your post to iNaturalist because when it is included in iNaturalist, now people from all over the world can identify your species correctly. They will add adjustments on their personal experiences and their research and that is really helpful to you. Now plants are much easier to categorize because they hold still. <laughs> Animals and bugs are slightly more difficult, and this is where another option of the Seek app is really helpful. You can take a picture with just the camera and your phone and then upload that picture to the Seek app. That way you can take your time and really try to focus on capturing a good image. Multiple images are even better before having to work with adjusting with the Seek app itself. Now, you're gonna, the downside to that is that you won't be able to see as the Seek app is connecting the information and, and getting a good sample, but you'll be able to get a still picture of that moving object. As with anything, you always want to double, maybe even triple check your information to make sure you have the right species to make better educated decisions on the bugs or plants in your garden. I find the Seek app by iNaturalist not only to be very helpful in my gardening chores, but also really fun. I love going to parks and investigating the flora and fauna with my Seek app. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Plant Life.